Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca who is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is Theodore German. This chess game happened in a chess simul, a 28 board chess simul from 1919 in the chess club of London. In London, England, so let's see what happened in this chess game. Jose Raul Capablanca starts the game with pushing to d pawn d4, d5, knight to f3, c6, and we see an unusual opening, e6, pushing to pawn and slowly developing the pieces by both sides, knight to e5, bishop to d6, and knight to d2, developing the knight. In this position, black could capture the knight, damage the pawn structure, but actually white is solid. Even if damaging the pawn structure, white can push the f pawn and march forward. So bishop to d6, knight to d2, queen to c7, and then f4 by Jose Raul Capablanca. Knight to f8, and this was a waiting move. Capablanca is supporting his knight with pushing the f pawn, and black is playing a passive move, a waiting move. Queen to e2 and black castled c4 by Jose Raul Capablanca. Charging black castled in the opposite direction, so Capablanca is pushing the c pawn and he wants to open the c file. Knight back. Maybe black's waiting game. This strategy is not the best strategy against Capablanca. C takes on d5. Mission accomplished. Bishop takes on d3 and then f6. Asking a question and attacking the knight. And actually, can you see the best move in this position for white? White has a very strong move. And after that move, black is in trouble. So let me give you a few seconds. If you want, you can also pause the video. Uh, in a chess simul, when he was also playing against 27 different opponents, simultaneously, Capablanca played a gutsy move. He played a brave move. Can you see a brave move in this position? Well, that move was not just a brave move, but I analyzed Capablanca's moves with the engine and engine taught me that Capablanca's move was the best, but the very best move, he played the top engine move in this position, which was very impressive in a 28 board chess simul. Capablanca, the human chess machine, sacrificed his knight. And this was the best move, believe it or not. Capturing the knight, accepting the sacrifice, but now he has a very dangerous pass pawn in front of the king, at the in front of the face of the king. So d takes on c6 and developing the knight, knight to g6. Well, in this position, actually, it is not hard to imagine if black captures the pawn, he is actually going to be in big trouble because of rook to c1 and how to defend the queen. If bishop to c5, I think we can simply capture the bishop and this is actually losing the queen because if you take we are not going we are not going to capture back, we have check and the next move we can actually capture the queen so this is actually losing for black okay, so this is why d takes on c6 and developing the knight, knight to g6 and then b4 by Jose Raul Capablanca, we have king to b8. Actually, if capturing the pawn, this is only going to help Capablanca. If bishop takes on b4, Capablanca was hoping to open the b-file, so bishop to c3, and you can see that black is in big trouble. How to defend? King over and rook in, and black is suffering. Black is in serious trouble. So in this position, king to b8 and then b5, e5 and Capablanca captured the pawn, f takes on e5 and then d5. Well, what a beautiful chess game already. You can see Capablanca has two connected pass pawns and three connected pawns in front of the king. And this is looking very dangerous. So knight to f6 and e4, extra defense to the pawn and then rook over knight in, bishop to c5, king over, and knight in, and threatening to play knight to f2. Well, Capablanca calmly and methodically played bishop to a3. He is not panicking, 
Bishop takes on a3. Well, in this position, you might ask what happens if knight to f2, then we simply capture the knight and then push the pawn, and this is winning for white. Queen to f7, d7, bishop is coming, and actually there is no sensible defense against bishop to d7, and also pushing the pawn is a very strong move as well. A b6 is very strong. If bishop takes, capturing, capturing, and you can see that the queen is also getting in, and black is in big trouble in this position. So this is why bishop to a3, capturing, capturing, and knight to f2. But again, calmly, Capablanca simply captured the knight. Ooh, rook takes on f2, and then d6. Look at this. Capablanca has three extra pawns for the rook. He is rook down, but he has pass pawns. And his pawns are simply dominating this chess game. Queen to f7 and black is threatening checkmate. So rook to f1, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, checkmate. But Capablanca again calmly, he pushed the pawn and black is in serious trouble. So king to c8 and then Capablanca is checking the king, king to d7, checking the king again and black resigned. Because of this possible continuation, king up, checking the king capturing the rook queen and basically black is getting checkmated by force and in this position if king to e6 then pushing the pawn and then getting checkmated again and there is no sensible defense what an amazing chess game by jose raul capablanca incredible chess game especially this move in a chess simul in a 28 board chess simul was pretty impressive knight takes on c6 this game out of nowhere and slowly, as you can see, I mean, you watched the chess game and you saw what happened. White slowly squeezed his opponent. An artistic, beautiful chess game by Jose Raul Capablanca. Actually, in this position, black simply resigned at move 30. Queen to c6 is the final move of this fantastic chess game. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.